Hey, it's Earthcastle. Doing complex counting in Hammer can be hard. Too many triggers, buttons and entities can complicate things a lot, and don't work half the time. This is where the math counter entity comes in, and today I'll teach you how to make and use it in the Hammer editor. Start by placing down an entity in your level using the entity tool. Then go into the entity's properties and change info player start to math underscore counter. Now you have a math underscore counter entity. From here you can use outputs and inputs to your liking. The main feature math counters do is keeping track of a count, whether it's triggers on a door or numbers of buttons pressed. This is the most important value. Once this number has been reached, it will trigger whatever you want it to. To make entities add to the counter, you can go into their outputs and make something like this. This value is what action triggers it, this one linking it to the main math counter, and this value tells it how many points to add or subtract. For this example, I'm going to make interacting with four cubes set this info player start on fire. To do this, I will copy and paste the same value as before across the buttons, with each adding one point to the math counter. Once it will have been pressed, the math counter will register that its max number of four, which I set, has been hit, and trigger the action. Here it is in game. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other Hammer content, and join my Discord server if you have any Hammer questions or just want to talk with other mappers. And that's all for now. See ya!